Hi there. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, my name is Shauna. I am with Epicure. Uh, I've been with Epicure for six months now. Yep, six months. And uh, I've been really enjoying it. I've learned a lot along the way. Um, met lots of amazing people. And uh, I, I learned how um, a way to cook good, wholesome, healthy food without compromising taste. Um, and it's fast, it's ready. Um, I used to be a single mom and uh, I used to rush home from work, put stuff together like a frozen pizza or um, Kraft macaroni and cheese in a box. Something quick and fast because then kids have to, you know, eat, do homework, read, go to bed. End of story and then repeat the next day, wake up in the morning and repeat the day, you know, always, always hectic. And I always felt really horrible because I wasn't feeding my children good, healthy food, in my opinion. Because I always had the dream of, you know, cooking up really fabulous meals, um, like my mom did when I was growing up. Um, she was, you know, stay-at-home mom, and I really felt terrible that I wasn't doing the same thing because I couldn't do that. But uh, I discovered Epicure, and I found out that hey, there is a way to be doing this to accomplish. Uh, making good meals for your children, for your family, that you can feel good about. So that's Epicure. Um, while we're cooking, I'm going to be gabbing a little bit about what exactly Epicure is. I've got some ground beef cooking right now. I'm just kind of looking at it while, because uh, I wanted to just start the pan up, you know, so we're not waiting for it to heat up, you know, and then we just get started. So does that sound okay with you guys? All right, fantastic. So we're making chacha chili, one of my favorites. Um, I chose chacha chili because it's going to be in the catalog for a very long time. Um, there is no fear of it selling out because it's not in the Black Friday um, sales. And I really did not want to show you guys something that's going to be maybe gone tonight, right? So, and this is a really great, really great, really healthy meal. Um, there's uh, meal replacements. So say if you don't like ground beef, you can replace it with chicken, with ground turkey, or even soy if you want to go completely vegan. So those are your options. So I'm hearing my meat sizzling, so let's get started. Um, so this is my, this is, this is a meat grinder, okay? Looks like a lawn dart, right? Yeah, it's not. It's a meat grinder, and it's really easy. Say if you got frozen beef, and you gotta cook it, and uh, you put it in the microwave, still a bit frozen in the middle, no worries. You just take this tool, and you just simply, just with a little bit twist of your wrist, Grind it up into little pieces. Like, so easy. I uh, actually kind of cheated. I put it in the microwave for a little bit. So it wouldn't it would even take it even faster. So, yeah. I should have maybe had it frozen to show you guys how easy this is. Oh, someone's just on the phone right now. Okay. So we're just cooking away here. So, Epicure, what exactly is Epicure? Um, like I said before, Epicure is good, wholesome eating. Um, it's gluten-free, which is huge, right? Um, it's nut-free. Uh, it's uh, no, There's no artificial flavoring, uh, no artificial coloring. Uh, it's good natural ingredients right from our homeland, you know, BC in Canada. And uh, it's, yeah, it's just absolutely amazing. Like, you won't find any of those pesticides or any of that garbage that goes into, like, some foods, like, that you buy at the supermarket. Don't want to be knocking it, but it's true, right? Um, so, yeah, that's Epicure. Now, who found, uh, who, uh, discovered, not discovered, but who, uh, founded the company? Um, her name was Sylvie Rocher. Um, she was, like everybody else, time starved, okay? And uh, she was rushing home from work to feed her family, and she didn't like the fact what she was finding on the shelves. It uh, a lot of the words she was seeing, which is reading the packaging, she couldn't even pronounce. Right? Like, what the heck is this stuff? What am I feeding my kids? So she decided to make her own blends. So she made her own blends, and uh, they're quite quite amazing, quite tasty. So she became, you know, she was like, not really brave. She's like, you know what, I'm going to try this. I'm going to take this to farmer's markets and I'm going to try to sell it and I'm going to like show the world this is what good cooking looks like. And she did. And it became quite popular. So then from there, Epicure was born. Now, 
Epicure's been around for 23 years. I had no clue how long it's been around for because I just heard about it uh, within the year, right? Um, the Americans, um, they've discovered, they're, they're hearing about Epicure too. Um, there are some consultants in the States now. And they've been around, the Americans, I think they've been aware of Epicure for about two years. And they are going to be doing a, uh, making a uh, head office in a state. I don't know where it is, but they are going to be though, having a head office there. So I think that's really amazing. So we are just spreading the word, good cooking. So this is looking really good. A little bit, parts is like really great pink. I was just going to like kick it up a notch actually. I didn't realize there was only a three. So let's kick it up a notch, we'll cook it. So after it's cooked, this is what we're going to do. Uh, I'm just going to set this aside here. We are going to be cleaning our kidney beans. I love kidney beans. We're going to be rinsing them. All right. We're going to throw it into our ground beef. Um, we're going to be putting our diced tomatoes. We're going to throw that in too. And then we're going to let it simmer for 15 minutes. How easy is that? And I thought, you know what? I, uh, I cut up some green onion and some cheese. Don't have to put either of them on if you don't want to. I'm going to. Um, but I do love green onion. So I thought, what the heck, let's do it. It's smelling good already here, guys. I made it once before during the summer, um, and I, you know, I just loved it. So good. There we go. There we go, there we go. All right, I'm just gonna maybe grab something else here while we're waiting here. All right. All right, so I'm gonna show you a few things I have. These are my pre-prep bowls. I'm going to be showing you guys in a post in the next day or two. Um, wonderful. I love them. As you see, I've got all, I got my green, um, green onion all prepped up, ready to go. Um, I have my measurements on the sides if you need to measure things out. Uh, we've got our quarter, half, three quarter right at the top. We have the full cup. So lovely. And I'm going to show you my four. I'm going to take, this is a, this is my strainer, by the way. It's really nice and flexible as that, as you can see. I'm gonna put down my temperature a little bit. Very flexible, really easy to use. Um, you can just squish it to make it flat, which we'll show you later on me. I'll show you now. All right, let's see here. Let me get my, I have chopsticks actually. So you, I just, what I do is I just kind of, I put it on a flat surface and I just mash it down just like that, easy. And then if I need it, I just take my thumbs, just like rolling a sock. And there you go, presto, just like that. All right, so, and this is my bowl, the partner to my small pre-prep bowl. Uh, it is four cups, lovely. Um, again, I mean, you can use it for prepping, you can use it for storage. I, I love this bowl so much. Actually, um, it was on sale, what is it, about two months ago, briefly. So I bought like a few more because I, this is my to-go bowl. So there you are. All right, looking good, looking good. Okay, actually I forgot to mention you guys, I'm showing you my kidney beans and my, uh, my tomatoes. We also have the seasoning, the most important part of the chili. Yeah, all right. So you know, the thing is it's so easy, right? Like you, I have this really bad habit, it was when things are really straightforward, I don't read instructions, I just kinda go with the flow, and uh, because it's that easy. Kids can do this, I mean, with supervision, but it's, kids can do this. Yeah, so as you can see, it's almost cooked. All right. Almost done, almost done. I'm always very paranoid about seeing a little bit of pink because that would be horrific. I, I would not want to food poison my family. I, I'm sure they appreciate that too. Okay. I'm actually kind of amazed by our dog, Ryan. He, you know, when I'm cooking, he can smell it and then he comes and joins me. Especially if it's meat, he's there. He is there to join and he's just doesn't seem to care. So, okay. It's a little weird. All right. I'm just gonna put this here. I'm gonna get a spoon here and I'm just gonna make sure. And then we're going to add the seasoning. Alright. You're looking beautiful, meat. You're looking beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Nice. 
I um, I just ordered a wok actually um, at Ep through Epicure. I'm really excited about it. It's gonna have a nice glass lid and uh, uh, it's gonna be lighter. Like this thing, it's I'm sure I swear you, I'm sure it's about 20 pounds. You gotta have like a huge like muscular arm to lift this thing up. Yeah. All right, there we go. We're cooking. Uh, so now let's get my scissors. Now these are my Epicure scissors. They're beautiful. It says Epicure on the side. Um, they come in the welcome kit. Um, I didn't think it was so special when I, when I first got the scissors because I mean they're scissors, right? But I realized, no, these, these are really, these are the scissors. They're very sturdy. They're sharp. Um, if you wanted to cut um, like chicken, if, you wanted, if you're making a chicken like a linguine, a linguine and you're cutting chicken and putting your steamer to cook it, you can use these scissors. You can, you know, use a cut paper, obviously. Um, you can use scissors. I should have showed you, you know, if you, to cut green onion. You can use it for anything. So it's absolutely fabulous. So here we go. Chacha chili. Let's open up the package here. Oh my goodness! You're gonna love this. Oh, oh my God! I want to see. Uh, let me put it up a little bit here. Oh my goodness, I can't, uh, I just got to keep whiffing it because it's that good. It is that good, yes. So what's in it is onion, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, chili powder, uh, spices, salt, garlic, rice concentrate, tomato garlic, spices, and ancho chilies. So there you are, lovely. So we're going to just put that in there. All right, great. And mix it up. So good. I mean, we just started this and it's already smelling good. But I'm a big sucker for chili. I love chili like in my hamburgers. I mean, I, I could live like it. All right. See how pretty that looks? I'm just gonna like, I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, the different colors. Really lovely. Okay, what's next here? I am going to uh, clean my kidney beans. All right, let's do this. Okay, I'm gonna put this over here so I don't drip all over the place. So these are my kidney beans. This is my, oh, yep. All right, excellent. We're just gonna throw this here. We're gonna gently wash it because I don't wanna short circuit our computer. So I'm just going to give it a nice little whiff, swish here. Lovely, lovely. Okay, I think we're good. Yes, all right. So I'm just putting it low so we don't get the computer wet because that would suck. All right, so now we're going to dump it in. See how easy that is? It's so nice and flexible and light. And now I'm just going to transfer it and put it into the, to my pan. All right, awesome. So I'm gonna mix it around. Okay, excellent. Now let's put it in our tomatoes. Our tomatoes go next. Yep, all right. So here goes the tomatoes. So we're mixing that up and then we're gonna add half a cup of water to our concoction here. So I'm just gonna go grab a, uh, one of my measuring cups from beside me. Okay, nummy. Okay, now let's get my uh, measuring cup here for a cup. There we go. I got 10 billion of these things too. All right, let's put it low. Don't worry, Daryl. I won't short, short circuit the thing. Daryl, by the way, is my husband. He's behind the camera. Loves what he does. You know, he loves to eat what I make. So he gets pretty excited about it. He's got his favorites. One of uh, his spices Daryl loves is uh, the toasted onion, eh, Daryl? Yeah. Toasted onion, yeah, that's his, that's his go-to for everything. You know what? Quite frankly, mine too. I like to put it in 
macaroni, and anything, like any, like, like stroganoff, I made, you know, I made stroganoff last night, throw it in there, delicious. All right, so I'm mixing it up here. Oh yeah, yeah, it's so good, so good. All right, so now we're gonna have it simmer for 15 minutes here, I believe. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. Yeah, simmer 15 minutes and I'm gonna stir occasionally. So I will go and I'll stir occasionally. And then once it's done, we'll, uh, we'll take it out and we'll, actually I'm gonna put a timer on here. Uh, whoops, uh, I'm gonna clear this timer. There we go, perfect. And then we'll put some green onion on it, maybe some sour cream if we have, I think we do. I like a little bit of sour cream, but you know what, not for everybody, it's all good. And uh, green onion, and then we're gonna chow down, and you know, we're gonna do our violin, we're gonna do our uh, singing rehearsal, or not rehearsal, our audition. So excited about that. And uh, yeah, that'll be our evening. So there you go. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, if there's anything you want me to do, you know, please let me know. I do have um, this coffee. Oh, no, that's not it here. Uh, my Dolce Vita. Now, I love this stuff. It's actually on sale. It's part of our Black Friday event. I'm, I'm almost out of it, actually, so I should really go get myself some coffee because I'm almost, I'm almost out of it. Yeah, as you can see, yeah. I froth up my milk, and uh, yeah, it's, it's it's simple. You know, it just hot water, um, a tablespoon, and uh, there you go, rock and roll. Now, for myself, I like to put two because I like my coffee really strong. You could ask my family. I like it strong, and uh, strong's my last name. Maybe that's why. Who the heck knows? And yeah, you can froth up some milk, put it on top, then make it a nice little uh, latte, and there you go. Skip all those fancy coffee shops when you can make it here at home, eh? This is, there you go. Okay. I think that's all she wrote. Again, if you need, if you want anything, need anything, any questions, please ask. If you want to ask me about the Black Friday event, go for it. I'd be happy to talk to you about it. And, uh, yes, enjoy your evening. Talk to you soon. Thank you again for uh, joining me. Bye now.